G'day guys, welcome back to a... What is that? G'day guys, how are we all doing today? My name is Corey from Designs by IFR. Today I wanted to show you guys how we actually go about draining the liquid from a custom water-cooled PC. So guys, if this is something that you are new at, then I'm gonna show you guys how to make ease of the situation. Whether you wanna drain the PC to take the water cooling loop apart, or you just wanna drain it to try and clean the insides of the blocks while it's still together, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get into it. Rightio, so before we begin, we need a few things to get us started and get through draining the PC. Now, the easiest way to go about this is get your original fill bottle or a spare fill bottle, something that can contain the liquid. We also need this little 24 pin jumper. Now, the reason for having this is that we can provide power to the power supply, get it kicked up and started, giving the power to the pump on the reservoir to get the liquid flowing without actually providing power to the rest of the components. Now, I'll talk more about that when we actually get up to that part. Now, if we have one of these 24 pin splitters, you don't necessarily need another power supply. You can use the current one in your system, but I just so happen to have granddad's power supply. So we're going to use this to provide power to the system so I don't actually have to unplug all of my cables, whereas you guys would if you didn't have a spare power supply. Now, what we also need is a nice hit of that subscribe button. So if you could do that for me, that would be much appreciated. Also, so what we have here is a tube to get all of that liquid out. Now, typically you'd put the drain port at one of the lowest points in the loop. Now that would usually be at the lowest point of the reservoir because that is the most liquid in the system. It's the highest volume of liquid. So it's going to come out nice and easy. And last but not least, if you plan on getting some water throughout the loop to try and get rid of some of that colored liquid without taking the loop apart, then you will need a fill bottle so you can keep cycling that liquid. So now that we have all of that out of the way, let's get into it. Right here guys, so as you can see, we have the valve fitting right at the bottom there, the highest volume of liquid above it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the port the valve is still closed. So the reason for opening the port is that we are going to attach our tube, like we said earlier, and that's going to allow us to then open the valve and drain that into a spare bottle. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do all of that. Now that we've got the soft tubing in place, we can grab our little liquid container right here, place that at the end of the tube. Now the way to get the liquid out really fast is it needs something in the system to replace it with. So we're gonna open the port up the top here so that it allows air to come in, which will allow the water to gush out. So let's go ahead, we'll open the port up the top. Then we're going to make sure that this tube is inside of our container to catch the liquid. And we can go ahead and open the valve and you guys will see all of the liquid come gushing out. Let's go ahead and give that a go. So as you guys can see, majority of the liquid is out. However, there is still a bit of liquid inside the tubes and the water blocks. But what you could be doing now is you could grab a bit of paper towel, you could hold it underneath the fitting and you could actually take off all of these high ones that don't actually have any liquid in there. And then what you could do is you could tilt the PC a tiny bit and tip out any excess or just catch it with a bit of paper towel. So that's what I would start doing usually if we wanna take their loop apart. However, we wanna take this a step further for you guys. For those of you new to water cooling, if you don't wanna actually take your loop apart and you just wanna say, you know, swap your liquid, um, swap to a different color or things like that, 
what we could do at this step is grab ourselves lots of distilled water and we could keep flushing this loop with distilled water until this is completely clear. So that's what we're going to do for you guys. We're going to fill up the loop until it gets completely clear and then it should be nice and clean. So I'll go grab the distilled water and we'll continue on with the video. So we've filled up our fill bottle with distilled water. Now the reason we need distilled water is because pure tap water actually has lots of minerals in there. You don't want that inside of the system, uh, you know, especially if you're gonna be refilling it, you don't want all of those minerals around the loop. It reacts with all the metals. Uh, there's, you know, algae or something that starts to grow. So not a good idea to use tap water. Distilled or demineralized water is the best option for you guys. Now I've also got our mango juice bottle here so that we can get I mean, it's gonna be watered down, but at least we can get some of the mango juice out of here back into the bottle and repurpose it for consumption. So that is basically what we're after right now. Now, as you guys can see, I've got Grandad's power supply plugged in. I've got the 24 pin jumper plugged in right there. And I've also got the pump res combo plugged into the Molex cable right here. Everything else in your system should be unplugged from the power supply. As I said, I don't have to unplug mine because I have a spare power supply. So make sure all of your power is off when you do plug all of these in, and then we can get to filling the loop. So now that the loop is full, we're actually going to start power cycling the system. So we're gonna turn the power supply on, we're gonna let the liquid drop until around here. You never wanna let the pump actually run dry. Once it's dropped to there, flick the power straight off and then you can do the exact same thing until the liquid starts flowing through the loop again. Once that is all done, then we're going to repeat the same process that we did in the first place where we undid this and let the liquid flow out into our mango juice bottle and then repeat the process over and over again until the liquid starts being very clear. Once it's clear, we'll give it a couple more goes and then it should be good to take the rest of the liquid out. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do this once and then I'm going to skip until we have it almost clear and then we'll go from there. So we ended up having to fill it up about five times before we got all of the liquid nice and clear. So now we're on our final flush. Now it's up to you guys if you want to, you know, remove the rest of the liquid and then take it apart, or if you just want to remove what liquid is in there and because it's distilled water, it'll mix nicely with whatever coolant that you put in next. Personally, I'm gonna be taking this system apart. So I'm actually going to take all of the liquid out and then I'm going to start unplugging tube by tube and catching any excess liquid inside of some paper towel. So for now, let's go ahead and we'll get the rest of, well, majority of this liquid out and then we should be pretty close to finishing.
There you have it guys, that's how it's done. We removed most of the liquid, there's still a tiny bit in the tubes, but as I said before, now at this point you would grab your paper towel, you'd undo the top port, you'd be able to swing that around and then you'd be able to, you know, tip your PC here and there and catch that liquid inside of a bit of paper towel. So it is as simple as that. I hope you all learnt something today. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed content like this. And remember, we've got lots of custom PCs on this channel, so feel free to go check those out if that is what you're into. Uh, we've got Patreon and membership links in the description if you would like to support our channel. And as always, every single part that we used for filling and draining this PC, I'll leave that in the description in case you guys are curious as to what we used and if you would like to purchase it for yourself. As always guys, thanks for watching, hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you all in the next one.